Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Shocking Episode 9 Twist Explained by Showrunner Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Showrunner Chris Black Explains Episode 9 Surprise Twist Ending Premiering in November of last year, the Apple TV Plus Monsterverse show tells a dual timeline story about how several characters' lives became intertwined with the mysterious organization known as Monarch. After a number of big revelations so far this season, the biggest shock yet came during Episode 9, titled Axis Mundi, when Keiko, Mari Yamamoto, was revealed to be alive in the Hollow Earth following her apparent death in Episode 1. In a recent interview with IGN, Black explains the decision to bring Keiko back at the end of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Episode 9. According to the showrunner, bringing Keiko back was always on the cards because she is such a great character and Mari Yamamoto is such an extraordinary actor and such a delight, and her scenes with Wyatt were so compelling. Check out Black's full comment below. Monarch Legacy of Monsters Episode 8 features Kurt Russell's Shaw winding up in the Hollow Earth, and he and Keiko seem poised for an emotional but complicated reunion. Yamamoto's character will likely have questions about what became of Bill after her death, with Shaw having the difficult job of revealing that her former lover died while on an expedition to Skull Island in the early 70s, as depicted during the events of Kong, Skull Island. In addition to the complex emotions that are sure to be brought to the surface, Keiko has evidently become something of a survival expert during her time in the Hollow Earth. Keiko's practical skills could end up being crucial to everyone getting back to Earth in one piece. It remains to be seen how Keiko will factor into the Monarch, Legacy of Monsters finale, but her return evidently is a major development for the show.